This plant will regenerate your liver, however damaged it is. This medicinal wonder has been used for centuries and more people should know about it. I present to you the milk thistle, Silibum marianum, the plant that protects and regenerates the liver. Our livers are faced with so many attacks, bad food, alcohol, drugs, medications. And milk thistle is like a second chance for our liver. It allows us to completely fix it, which is amazing. Now, the liver is one of the most important organs in our bodies, and it's one of the most attacked organs. What the liver does is that it filters our blood and breaks down toxic substances such as bad food, medication, drugs, alcohol. It regulates most chemical levels in the blood and excretes a liquid called bile. The bile carries away waste products and breaks down fats in the intestines. The liver is basically a key element to healthy life, physically and mentally. And that's why it's very important that we look after our livers. And that's why plants like Silibum marianum are sacred. Now before we get into recognizing the plant and how to use it, let's look at its Latin name because the Latin name of a plant can tell you a lot about it. So Silibum marianum. The genus Silibum comes from Greek and basically means an edible type of thistle. And we can obviously see that this is a thistle because it's got the spikes, very spiky, and the same type of flowers than most other thistles. And now the species name Marianum refers to the Virgin Mary. Legend has it that during the persecution of Herod in Egypt, Mary fled and hid in a bush of thistles. Now while she was breastfeeding Jesus, drops of milk fell on the leaves of this thistle bush. And this thistle bush, as you can imagine, turns out to be the milk thistle. And that's why the leaves took on that marbled milky look. <laughs> and now you know how to recognize the leaves because they have that marbled milky look. <laughs> I just love the way that plants can tell you a story and help you recognize them. <laughs> Now, although the prickles are very off-putting because they're very sore, this plant is entirely edible. So you can eat the roots, the leaves, the flowers, the stems, all edible and very good for you. And uh, now onto the inflorescence. Uh, the flower is very typical of the thistle family, the Asteraceae family, and it actually looks like uh, an artichoke flower. And that makes sense because they're both from the same family. So it's big and purple, very easily recognizable. And another trait that's very typical of milk thistle is the height. I don't know if you can see, but they really are tall. They get to a very tall state. During the winter, when you just have the rosette of leaves, it's very low to the ground. And once the stem starts shooting up with the flower, it really gets super tall. <laughs> so that's also another trait. You definitely can't miss this uh, flower. <laughs> The chemical compound that interests us in this plant is called silimarine. Silimarine is the chemical compound responsible for repairing and regenerating the liver. Now this chemical compound is present in the entire plant. I like to dry the leaves and have them as a tea. They're absolutely delicious, just like green tea. They're incredible. They're just a bit painful to dry because they're very prickly, but it's totally worth it. But the highest concentrations of silimarin are found in the seeds. And that's what's very interesting with this plant, is catching the seeds. Um, now, I have a few plants here are starting to dry out. You see at this stage where the flower is all purple, you have to wait. It's beautiful and very decorative, but you have to be patient. It's more at this stage, where the flower is all dried out. It starts to open up with some white fluffy bits coming out of the inflorescence. And basically those are the little parachutes that the seeds are attached to, to fly away. Harvesting the seeds of milk thistle is quite a hard and painful task. You want to be wearing gloves first of all, because it's very prickly and it really hurts. Um, what I do is I wait until they're really completely dry. And then I place the inflorescence in a bucket. 
uh, shake it up then I filter the fluff and the seeds so I only have the seeds at the end left honestly it's hard and painful and takes a long time but it's totally worth it now these seeds you can grind them up then you can sprinkle them on your food or you can make teas with them do whatever you want it's just it's a part it's in the form of a powder so very easy to use now if you don't want to grind up the seeds, you can still use them by making a decoction. And there you go. This is an incredible plant, uh, incredible medicine. And have you seen how abundantly it grows in nature spontaneously like that? I find that amazing. And it has such incredible properties that have been proved scientifically and through the centuries. I mean, it's amazing. I don't know how people don't know more about this plant. And as we know that the liver is so important, we really should read taking care of it and for having healthier bodies and healthier lives so definitely think of looking for this plant maybe in your garden that's growing somewhere or in the wild um, and harvesting these seeds yourself because you know when you do it yourself already connects you more with nature and you know the provenance and um, it's just really fun to do although a bit painful but it's definitely worth it so I invite you to do that. <laughs>